Hi, Kieran here. This video explains how you can make a simple pressure plate activated alarm. This is a very basic entry level project which will familiarize you with digital circuits. Don't forget there is a whole bunch of useful links underneath the video. Please check them as well if you're having trouble. When the two pressure plates are pushed together, the active buzzer should sound and the LED should switch off. You will need a bunch of components, including an IC, a breadboard, a power supply, and an active buzzer. You can find full details of these components in a link to a document underneath the video. Once you have obtained all the components, you will need to connect them up. Make sure you have carefully connected all the components exactly as they are on the schematic diagram. It is also useful to know something about breadboard anatomy. You should remember that these sides flow horizontally and that these sides in the center flow vertically. You should also remember that there is actually no connection across the center of the breadboard. So if you want this side to connect to this side, you're actually going to have to connect them using either a lead or a component. It is also worth remembering that the breadboard has polarity. So it has positive sections as well as negative sections on both the top and the bottom. So when you check the schematic diagram, please be careful to ensure that you do not connect wires into the positive section which are meant to go into the negative section, or vice versa. You should also make sure that your IC is facing the right way. Remember also that each of the six legs of the IC serves a different function. For this reason, it's very important that they are connected the right way. So please make sure that each individual leg is plugged correctly into the appropriate socket but also make sure that the half moon shape on the IC is facing the left. So that means that when you connect the IC, each of these legs connects squarely and firmly into their sockets. And of course, make sure this moon is pointing left. You should also be careful to make sure that the passive buzzer is facing the right way with the plus side facing the top. The passive buzzer also has two different legs. The longer leg tells you which side is positive with the lower leg on the negative side. The LED also has polarity so you should make sure that the longer leg which is the positive side is on the right side. You should cut up two cardboard squares, you should make sure the cardboard is quite thick. You should also glue a smaller section of cardboard onto the back of each of your cardboard squares. This is important because without this the alarm will constantly sound. You will also need to place a strip of aluminium tape across the back of each cardboard square. If, after connecting all the wires and components, as in the diagram, you find that the device still does not function, or the LED will not turn on, you should double check certain components and possibly replace them. Components which typically fail include the IC, the LEDs, the buzzer, and of course the power supply. So you should replace each of these, or your batteries. Um, because often these components can fail, especially if they're quite old. 